How's it going everyone? This is James Rise gonna bring you special ladies and gentlemen a new video today. And today I am going to show you guys something different. You guys are in a new area of my place. I am gonna show you guys how to make my vegan shakes. What I eat probably three times a day or consume actually, since it's like a shake meal stuff. Consume three times a day. Um, so let's let me show you guys and let's get this journey on the road. It's been a while since I made one of these videos, so hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll leave. Just follow along if you guys want to try it. Most of all, this is what works for me. Um, I would recommend you guys to experiment with everything, with multiple different foods that work for you. Uh, I guarantee it will work best for you. Just experiment. I've been experimenting with these shakes for a while and I've finally found something that really works for me and for my workouts and recovery and everything. So let me show you guys. <laughs> Back to action. This is what we have, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's make this. I'll just uh, name the ingredients as I go along. We're going to put a cooked sweet potato, a whole one in my blender. Just like that. Bam, look at that. Bam, slam dunk. This is a whole sweet potato. It's a pretty large sweet potato. Get those carbs in. Next, I will go with the mixed greens. I usually grab a handful, something you know I could grab with a whole entire fist and put it in the blender. Push it down. Sometimes all the greens don't like to get down there and they get caught in the lip of the lid of the blender, and then you just got whole leaves chilling in your shake. You don't want that. All right, so we got our sweet potato. We have our Greens, next we're gonna do my favorite, sunflower seeds. I usually do about two and a half tablespoons of sunflower seeds. So oh, it doesn't drip. Ah, it did drip. Usually I'd use two hands when I do this. Let's get this. No drip, no drip. Oh yeah. That's two. And we'll go for a yeah. Bam. All right, so we got our sweet potato, we got mixed greens, we got our sunflower seeds. These are raw organic sunflower seeds that I put in here. And my favorite, hemp oil. Here it is. My hemp oil. I usually put about a dab. Ooh, that was a lot. But that's good. Some extra oil. Some extra fats. So then I'm gonna this is right here is camu camu powder. It's a root, high vitamin C help you stay sick free. So I'm put this in here, boom, just a little bit. You just don't need too much of that, just a little tiny dab. Also, I'm gonna put some cacao powder. A tablespoon, I usually pull, put in probably a little less. Look at that, a tablespoon of cacao powder, bang. Um, next, we're gonna put our mixed berries. I buy frozen organic ones, uh, they work best for me. We're just gonna put the whole, whole bag in there. Not too much, not too little. Bam, there you go. Then we have our proteins I have right now in stock. I have my raw meal by Garden of Life. I just put about a tablespoon of that and then I have this new one by Orgain. I haven't tried this, I've tried, I've been using this one recently. Um, it's my first time having it. Orgain, organic protein, vegan, you know. So I'm gonna put, let's grab a bit. Bam, look at that. Tablespoon, music. Make it nice and flat. Bam. Figure I have enough protein with those seeds, so I don't need too much of this supplement protein, powdered base protein. Bam. This is a tablespoon. I don't go buy the scooper in there. I just go buy tablespoons for some reason. I don't know it works for me. Bam! Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. So now you guys see what I put in my shake. Uh, so we have our mixed greens, we have our, so that's our veggies right there, you know, mixed greens, we have some veggies. Then we have our um, mixed berries, a lot of mixed stuff going on. So we have our fruits and then we have our carb, which is a sweet potato cooked. And then we have our protein, which is uh, the sunflower seeds. And then I use, you know, the raw meal and then the organic protein by Orgain. And then I have my fats, which is in the hemp oil. So I'm hitting all the macros. I'm doing my veggies, I'm doing my fruits, I'm doing my carbs, I'm doing my fats, I'm doing my proteins. Man, 
This is why it's a complete meal for me, uh, and it works great for me. All right, so uh, let's blend this thing up, and I'll show you guys how it tastes. Well, you'll see how it blends up. It blends up pretty well if you put a lot of water in it. I'm gonna show you guys right that that right now. Now I am going to add the water. What I usually like to do with the water, I usually like to put it um, half refrigerated water, bam, and then half room temperature water. Or like three fourths cold water and one fourth room temperature water. I don't know. It's not as cold and can grow down quicker. That's why I like it personally. Uh, so let's make this mix this baby up, shall we? Let's put the lid on the blender, and then we'll get this right here. So. There you guys have it. It's all mixed up. Bam. You see drink straight out of the freaking jar. So this is how much I use. <laughs> I know it looks like a lot. It's about five, six cups. Um, it's what I do. You guys saw this shake. I know it looks pretty intimidating. Look how big this thing is. Bam. It's pretty big. Um, you guys could adjust it. Adjust it to, I put a whole sweet potato in there. Put a lot of greens. I put protein, a lot of sunflower seeds, um, a little, kind of a lot of hemp oil in there as well. So just adjust it to what works for you. I'm not, if you're looking to like lose weight or like maintain, get toned up, I'm trying to build muscle. So I like to put like a bigger amount of carbs in my sweep, in my shake. Uh, so maybe do half a sweet potato or get smaller sweet potatoes. Um, just a, if you guys are looking for organic sweet potatoes, to put in your shakes, I do recommend Jewel, J-E-W-E-L, Jewel Sweet Potatoes. I figured they, from my experience, they cook quicker and they're more like baby food when you like cook them in the oven, so they don't stay hard too long. If you have a good oven, they should be soft for like an hour, hour 20 at 475 is what I put my sweet potatoes at. So, let's have a taste. Something, woo, it's good. Subtle taste. Um, maybe if you guys want to get used to it, or you can guys add something if you don't really like the taste, but it's not a bad taste at all, especially if you add that sweet potato and those mixed berries. It makes it taste really good, and I enjoy it. I mean, I drink it three times a day, so I have to enjoy it, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this concept. It's been a long time coming to make this video for you guys again updated so until next time guys stay risen and enjoy your shake